Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Peace Dealer. I got my dude Pikachu. And uh, yeah, we are a moon in Scorpio, sun in Cancer. Um, the moon is fifth house to the sun in Cancer. And I just really want to, before we start, first of all, remind you we're in the apocalypse. Second of all, um, remind you that you may not necessarily, it, it, concerning epistemology, um, is you know, always a friendly reminder that you don't have to really hold yourself to the standard of having to know anything, really, or everything. Um, if you think about the nature of what can be known, your brain is processing limited information in an unlimited universe. And as much as you can leave things up to faith, it would make more sense that you're mainly here to experience and integrate your own subjective perception with the objectivity of reality, which when you think of it like that, you, you can hold yourself less accountable to having to know anything. Because if you're not aware of what's happening all at once, you can't really say that you know what's happening. You don't know what influences are happening in areas of the universe with different laws of physics than our own that influence what's happening here or that govern what's happening here. So, you know, everything that you think you know is really subjective. And that's not a bad thing at all. It just kind of shifts your focus when you realize that you, you start to realize maybe life is just a lot more about being in the moment and not having to know but just being present. So with that being said, apocalypse is a, a, a revelation. It's like an unveiling. When I say we're in an apocalypse cycle, I'm not really trying to speak more of the end of the world as much as the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. The apocalypse cycle that started was actually four planets of a cycle, right? A conjunction that kicked this off. And concerning unveiling, that makes sense that ever since March 20th, 2020, Ever since March 21st, 2020, so much has been exposed. It's just the beginning, though. And I, I hate to say it like that because you know this as much as I do. So outside of it, just the whole fact that, you know, the truth is being unveiled. So outside of that, though, um, the moon in Scorpio is going to be... First of all, this is cancer is the tea. Cancer is the juice. Scorpio is the sauce. So this is the sauce of the juice. This is a saucy, juicy, you know, tea day. This is going to be um, very, 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 very amazing. And um, you're going to be receptive to pure wisdom in a way that will give you so much more depth of substance to understand more of your energy signature at a pure, more extreme level and with what you're doing. Lots of juicy intel. For those of you who like to dish the tea, for those of you who like some gossip or for, for, for some stuff to come out, you know, I enter Gemini's just like, oh, but um, I, I like, I like your car. Thank you. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. Sweet. Yeah, it's uh, dope as hell. I remember seeing that. I was like, damn. That's an infinity, but wrapped in pink. But other than that, you know, um, that nature of this purity, you know what I'm saying, goes a long way because the depth with which you're now establishing the full creativity, the moon, which is fifth house to the Cancer Sun, is taking this first quarter square that helped you understand the social place that your energy signature has will now enable you to understand the complex motivations of what drives forward people's understanding. You have to also understand that people in their erroneous assumption that they know anything, you know what I'm saying? I'm enlightened. I will tell you right now, I don't know shit. In fact, everything, every time you guys say that like, oh, your astrological in, um, interpretations were on point, like, oh my gosh, you're accurate. That's not because I know. All I'm doing is... I'm taking what's up there and I'm showing how it's down here. So it's like seeing, it's like a meteorologist seeing the storm weathering. That's not really a function of my knowledge. I'm just literally showing you what's there, right? But I'll tell you straight up, I don't know shit. And this is why I don't judge people. 
I just, I literally just, you know, stay in the moment. It's not about that for me. Um, a lot of people think they know stuff and they don't. And so, you know, it, it it's going to be very important because a day like today will help you see through the pathologies and the commonly widely held assumptions that so many people have. This is also going to be really great because after this first quarter square with the moon that was opening square cancer and Libra, this leading up into the full moon in Aquarius is going to hook you up with so much breakthrough primarily. And, and a lot of this has to do with the moon that's opposing Uranus and Taurus, where it conjuncted Taurus while the sun was still in cancer, having you ground in unconventional sense physiologically of supernatural abilities and more so your ability at a physical level to sense reality through your five senses. Uranus is adding clairs here. And so Scorpio is adding intensity and purity. The moon in Scorpio is going to break you through into seeing a lot of the projection of insecurity, especially through cancer season, as more of a defense mechanism, uh, an expression of so many people's weakness. And so this is going to break you through into now gaining so much more power and confidence by not only like counterattacking and, and these people getting a taste of their own medicine, but quintessentially seeing how so much of what people undermine and say and believe against what you've always walked or, or, or see as the truth um, is now going to age horribly in the sense where people who were outright saying that, you know, certain things you're pioneering or championing won't work out or won't produce results, you know, through the moon and Virgo, you have more than enough results to basically show for it. And this is where a lot of this energy is unspoken energy. It really will speak for itself. And as it speaks for itself, this is going to deepen so much more the purity of how much more powerfully you feel into your energy signature. Cancer season is literally a fuel up. This is a pit stop because this is going to glow in Leo and you're going to run off of these fumes and express it or fuel and express this courageously. So be very mindful, okay, of how you respond to criticism because a lot of criticism is not constructive. A lot of criticism is just insecurity and projections that are only defensively expressed and established because your actions and beliefs challenge other people's beliefs. And these people identify so much with their beliefs. When you, when you challenge their beliefs, they act as if you're attacking them. And this, you know, this applies to whatever. Um, don't get so caught up on the erroneous or fallacious reasoning uh, that people have as much as just being in a moment and listening to the energy behind their words. Most of the time, it's not even them speaking. It's an imprint, it's a belief system, bullshit that was implanted to them by someone else or unconscious that they think is theirs, but it's not theirs. Okay, this will actually enable you to help people even learn who they are, uh, whether they'll accept it or not. So keep that in mind amazing breakthroughs. I want to kind of break this down again because the moon two weeks ago um, on Taurus and Uranus did a whole lot to over two weeks strengthen, intensify, and deepen the psychological ability for you to now harness pure energy, extending forth your five senses and clairvoyant or clair senses, and now complete with a transformation of how you utilize and feel and harness this energy. It's basically like having you feel how much more powerfully and intuitive your senses are. And Moon and Sag Scorpio transforms it at a supernatural level so that you can sense all this supernaturally. Once the moon goes into Sagittarius, this is going to ascend. And you're, you're gonna, this is going to be very amazing because you're going, <laughs> people are going to reveal, mainly because they're weak and they don't have any self-control, how like, you know how certain people like will hide behind a veil of rhetoric so that they can act like, oh, well, my, I'm only against you because of reasons when it's not really reason, they're just in their feelings. So this is going to really expose people who never really were saying anything. They're just in their feelings. Okay. So keep this in mind. I don't say these things to make fun of emotions. 
I say these things to point out a lack of self-control and how people may leverage that in an effort to waste your time and act like they're saying anything meaningful, but they're not. So keep that in mind because so much that was hidden is going to be revealed. Everything that is really synthesizing this wisdom coming up, you will see when the moon's in Sagittarius. It's going to be super dramatic. All of this is in preparation for Leo season where we're going to kick off the social axis and we're going to experience more drama than we've had in a whole decade. But outside of that, you really owe it to yourself to really, you know, own own up to how much you've grown and to how much you are very powerfully evolving. Please understand, especially when it comes to you, people can only really speak on what they experience from the outside looking in. They don't know what you feel. They don't know what you know. They don't know what you've gone through in the pockets of time without them. So don't ever take serious people who expect to just assume that they know. As much as I know, I will tell you I don't know shit. I will never assume to know things about you. I will instead listen to you first and judge by your actions, period. <laughs> Be very mindful of people who think they know. They know they don't. They don't. And I'm talking about very knowledgeable people, too, who are licensed and experienced with it. They don't know. They only have an idea of you. And the idea of you is not you. You're you. So please embrace that because what cancer season wants to establish is the redefinition and transformation of how you understand your energy signature. You do not feel the same way you felt when you started this journey. You've gained so much wisdom and experience that the expression of you is so much more bolder, is so much more confident. Um, I forgot who said this. Somebody somebody said this recently. Oh, well, I want to sort them. I want to sort them. Source them. Um, damn it. I forgot who said this. But I want to shout that person out. If you're watching this, please let me know. This person basically uh, reminded everyone that when you live your north node, people will not like that. <laughs> When you're living your destiny, like people will start to kind of get in your way because it's a challenge. And so this specific awakening happening is innovating the concept of an individual. What does it mean to be an individual? And Uranus is radicalizing notions that are literally opposite of the social axis. They're antisocial. So you're not doing this right. If you're not unpopular, like if you're not expressing unpopular opinions, <laughs> even within your own communities, like like it's it, it, this is a good thing. You're it's not about being a rebel without a cause. It's about establishing your distinctness. Everyone's not even supposed to agree on everything the same. This bullshit. Like people should honor each other's unique individual perspectives uh, without having to you know cancel each other because they don't agree. At least that's what grown adults do, not children. I can't speak for these chil grown uh, children uh, who, you know, uh, are in uh, bodies of grown adults. But yeah, this moon in Scorpio transit opposite Uranus is going to literally transform your understanding of the supernatural abilities you've unlocked. Aries season sparked it. Taurus season manifested it. Gemini season enlightened your perspective. And Cancer season is deepening the understanding of, you know, the soul of you. So this is going to be literally where you not only start to feel this at a deeper supernatural level, but you're going to come into the knowledge of the full moon in Aquarius. This is not only where things get fun and even more paranormal, but the moon that will be trining Neptune retrograde will realistically help you understand transcendent qualities of metaphysical influences Basically that which you can't see, but you will feel this grand water shine is going to be lit. Trust your intuition because it's going to guide you into more wisdom and understanding. And, you know, just be okay and accept the fact that there are going to be people who have all sorts of things that they feel and want to say about you, but they will never say it to your face. They'll say it behind your back and actions speak louder than words. Their own actions are saying that they don't want to smoke with you and that they fight, they're weak. They think that they're weak. If anyone was strong in themselves, they would confront you. So don't waste your time dealing with such beings. Continue to be great. Godspeed!